Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Beckstrom, and today I want to take a look at an example from homework 2.3. Uh, this is number 10, and uh, this is going to help us use the graphing tool here to look at transformations of graphs. Uh, so let's take a look at this and see how to graph that. It says, use transformations to graph the following function and state the domain and the range. So it gives us the graph here of y is equal to 1 fourth x plus 10. Uh, so let's go ahead and just kind of work this one out uh, by hand, and then we'll go ahead and graph it. All right, so here is our equation. I've got a graph. And the first thing I want to do, so I'm using transformations, is I'm going to start with the simplest uh, graph that I can using this form here of a straight line. And the simplest one I can think of here is y is just equal to x. And then we can use transformations to see what this one here is going to look like. So if I do y is equal to x, uh, that's just going to be a 45 degree line that goes through. Let me set that up here. It's going to go right through the origin. And it will look something like this. All right. Going this way and that way. All right, so it's got a uh, y-intercept of zero, so it goes through the origin, and it's so that is our y-intercept or our b is zero, and our slope here is just the coefficient in front of the x, which is one, so we can write that as one over one. So that means it's, uh, from the origin it goes up one over one, up one over one, or down one to the left one, down one to the left one. And now I want to see uh, what does this uh, transformation here do? What does the coefficient in front of the x do, the one-fourth? And what does this plus 10 do? So let's start with the one-fourth. So since that one-fourth is less than one, it's actually going to shrink it by a factor of one-fourth. So that means that every y value um, is going to get shrunk by a factor of one fourth. So I'm going to look for some y value here that is a, and let me go ahead and change my color of my pencil. I'm going to look for a y value that is a factor of, or is divisible by four. So for example, 20. I'm going to take one fourth of that. So one fourth of 20 is five. So that means I've got a point right here. Um, I'm still going through the origin, and then one-fourth of negative 20 is just going to be negative 5. So I can use those points here to kind of graph a new line. Uh, and that should look something like this. So let me go ahead and graph that. Uh, so just by... And I'm going to put this off to the side here. This here is, uh, let me go ahead and make that a little bit thicker. So that is going to be y is just equal to 1 for x. And now I want to add to that plus 10. And the plus 10 is going to actually give me a vertical, that's an up and down uh, translation. Um, of 10. And since it's plus, that means it's going to go up. So it's going to go in the upwards direction. I'll make that one green. We're going to move it up by 10. So that means it's going to go there. And it's going to be the same kind of direction here. So we should have a point here as well. And we should have a point moving up here by 10 as well. And I can use that. And then if I just move this whole thing up like this, I should be able to draw a line right through there. All right. And go ahead. So the screen line here is going to be one fourth x plus 10. All right, so let me get a couple of points off of here, so that way I can put it into my graphing tool. So this one up here is, that's going to be 20, the x value here. And the y value looks like it's 15. And then over here, I have an x value of negative 20 and a y value of 5. 
So I also have negative 20 and a y value of 5. All right, and let's make sure that these values also fit over here. So if I take, if I put the 20 in there, 1 fourth of 20 is 5. 5 plus 10 is 15. That point works. If I take the negative 20, 1 fourth of negative 20 is negative 5. Negative 5 plus 10 is 5. So both of these points will work for the graph. And now I'm going to go back to my uh, graph over here. I might click this to enlarge. And we said that we had, uh, so we use the straight line tool. I'm going to go to 25. Uh, and I'm also going to go to negative 20. Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, that is good again. I think we had 2015 and negative 25. So this is my trans. Uh, formation of the original graph there. Now, are there other easier ways to do it? Absolutely. Uh, if you notice that this graph is in y-intercept form, uh, that's great. So 10 is the y-intercept, so it goes through 10, and it has a, a slope of 1 over 4. So if I did that and just moved up 1 and over 4 spaces, you notice that I could have graphed it that way as well. I could have found the x-intercept and the y-intercept by uh, letting y be 0 and x be 0 and graphed it that way. I would have had it. A point here at negative 40 0 and at 0 10 so I could have graphed it that way so this is definitely one of the longer ways to graph that but it's an important uh, way to be able to graph these all right if you have any questions uh, please let me know let me make sure that's right which it is and I hope you have a great rest of your week thank you